So in the last lecture, what we did was we finally massaged our data to where now we are getting students and grades that fulfill the criteria of this being our A honor roll sheet. But I told you I was going to come back over here and I was going to mess some things up. So let's say that in addition to the student and grade data here, um, let's say that I also had things like uh, a test average. Okay, and I'm just going to write in some random numbers here for the test average. Let's say Alan had an 89, me a 90, Caitlin had an 82, um, Cindy had, let's do an 89 as well. She got homework that maybe made up for that. Um, 50 for poor James, John got a 72, Max a 78, Melissa an 83. Perry got 65, Susie got a 29, poor Susie, and then Tony, let's say he got a 99. Okay, so then let's say that for whatever reason over here, rather than doing A through B, I did A through C. Well, now my honor roll sheet is becoming a little more complicated. Um, I don't really necessarily need to know the test averages for the honor roll list. I need to see the final grade which is just this letter grade right here. So this is where I want to come in and I want to modify my query to where I'm not using this asterisk. Instead, I only want to return certain columns. And um, that's pretty simple. You can say to return A, and it will only return A. So it just returns column A. Put a comma and say return or select A comma B, and it's only going to return the columns A and B from these averages. If for whatever reason I wasn't looking for the actual final average and instead I just wanted um, their tests, then I could do select A comma C, where B is equal to A. And now notice I'm using column B from my source data as a qualifier here to say only return students who have an A in their column B, but I'm only going to return columns A and C. And the other cool thing about this is notice that there's no blank space here um, in this column. Instead, my query populates columns adjacently. So rather than saying, oh wait, there is actually um, a grade column here that has letter grades in it, I'm going to leave it blank, which is what would have happened if I had referenced the original cell. Instead, um, my query is pulling in only the columns I care about and putting them right next to each other. So we can already start to see how powerful this particular function is. So I'm going to change this back to B. And now I'm getting a pretty solid look at my A honor roll sheet here. I've got my students, and I'm showing their letter grades just for confirmation. So very, very quickly using that query function, I was able to create this honor roll sheet here referencing my original data. And you can imagine if you had a grade book where you had students, grades, uh, maybe their final averages, their test averages, but then you had their tests that were summed up and averaged to those averages, their homeworks and all of that. Um, yeah, you could come over here and you could say, okay, this column is going to be equal to column A, and then this column here is going to be equal to column B, um, and then, you know, so on and so forth. And you could make references to every column you wanted to pull in here. But as you can see with the query function, it's really easy for me to modify this and say, hey, I only want to pull in these columns, and here's the criteria I'm going to use to select um, that. All right, so this is where we're not just doing a generic select. We're actually selecting for specific columns to be returned from our source data. I'm going to talk a little bit more about this in the next lecture and let you know a very important piece of this um, with regards to how I reference these columns from our source data. And I'm going to do that because in future lectures we're going to need to know this um, for uh, moments where we're going to be querying multiple sources of data.